Hey, it's your girl Chad. Today I'm coming at you with a video, a highly requested video. We're gonna be talking about Glossier. Yeah. Guys, I finally got the Glossier video coming through. I saved my coin up for it because there, none of these are less than $10. I'm gonna let you know right now. So this is a pretty expensive box. Dad, don't come for me. We're gonna try these products out for the first time because I never tried any Glossier products before. Shout out to y'all who've been recommending me products in my DMs. Thank you so much. We're gonna be testing it out today and putting it on the face. And I'm gonna let you know the tea. So if you wanna know if Glossier is worth the hype, if you wanna know if it's Chab approved, if you wanna know if it's worth the Monty Hunty, then let's get started. By the way, this video, because there's too many products, I'm just gonna link them down below. I'm not gonna give you any of like the claims and things on here. I'll, I'll give you some ASMR. And my phone is on silent. It is on autopilot, just so you guys are aware. Guys, this is a full face first impressions on Glossier. I'm gonna let you know right now, some of these are not first impressions because I just couldn't help it. However, I did do my eyes without any Glossier products because they don't have eyeshadows. Who the funk? I have tried already the birthdaybomb.com universal skin salve. By the way, this salve here, I just wanna let y'all know the tea real quick. It's for $12. And I think this is the most inexpensive one on the list. Now, what I do like about this real quick, it's just a nice little squeezy tube right here. Give me some metallic holographic. Hey girl, ooh, ooh the camera picking it up, girl. Apparently you can use this all over your face or whatever. I'm gonna just use it on my lips cause that's what it says to do, so. I'm gonna put this on. What are my first impressions on this bomb? It's petroleum jelly that smells like birthday cake and it's got some glitter in it. A plus for chat. <laughs> Next, let's prime the face. I got the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It's a buildable hydrating cream. And I'm gonna apply this all on my face. You know, after you cleanse the face, which I have cleansed the face, put some on your face and stroke up and out. I haven't bought any Glossier products before because this seems like the cool girl products. This seems like the products that are not meant for your girl chab. You know, I'm like the sassy girl, but I'm not a cool girl. Let's apply this on the face. It doesn't have a scent. Yeah, no, it doesn't have any scent. As far as the ingredients goes, I don't know too much about it. I have been getting into skincare lately and I find this to be pretty nice. Um, it doesn't have anything that is concerning to me, but I've been reading up on it some more and things, trying to get into skincare a little bit more, especially since I got this big old zit that's healing and stuff and I had one up here too. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Future Dew. This is a oil hybrid serum, which I have dry skin, so I feel like this is a great product for me. What I was reading on the ingredients list, pretty much at the very end there's mica in it uh, which leads me to believe that this has some kind of like reflection to it so without trying it or anything i found out that there is some like glossiness to it i'm assuming and then also it's got like water glycerin squalene or squalene however you want to say it so i mean that's pretty promising to me i love some squalene and stuff squalene whatever as long as you don't get it from sharks okay this thing says two pumps it smells kind of like tea tree oil. There isn't any tea tree in it. There's like some kind of leaf oils and stuff, but I don't think that's anything in there. Don't get any suggestions, okay? It is what it is. This is the Future Dew oil. So it says two pumps. This feels like a lot to me, but I'm gonna put it all over my face. It's on my face now. I like how it looks. It doesn't feel tingly or whatever. So yeah, there isn't any tea tree. I don't know why. It smells like tea tree to me for some reason. I don't know, but like it makes the skin look nice and hydrated. It does have a little bit of reflection to it, which I think is like the mica and stuff in it. And then they also have titanium dioxide or whatever and iron oxide. So I think that's what's giving me that shine at the very end. I don't know, I could be wrong, but let's go into complexion, which is the majority of the products that I have here. Let's start off with the perfecting skin tint. I have the shade G9. When looking at my DMs and stuff, someone was telling me that these are very, 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 very light coverage and stuff, especially the perfecting skin tint. This kind of reminds me of like airbrush makeup where you like drop it in and then it's so sheer that you can just, you know, spray layers and layers and it just looks airbrushed. I'm gonna do one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge. I have a feeling the sponge isn't gonna work out just because sponges tend to soak up a lot of product. We're gonna just use like a flat brush like this. So hopefully this is my shade which I'm not too concerned because it's a sheer coverage. Let me start off with a little bit and usually want to start from the center and work outward so let's see. This is giving me absolutely no coverage. Like now that I'm seeing this, I'm probably not gonna go with a sponge. I don't wanna waste my time with it. Like, cause, oh. So I just read the bottle. Apparently you're supposed to apply this with your hands. 
let's try it with our fingertips. So I'm gonna take, okay, I got like, I got three, four drops on here. Do that. Did that do something? Leave a comment down below. The forehead for me is like the most untextured, like beautiful part of my face, I feel. It's smooth. It's just got a little bit of redness, but that's it. This is what I mean when I say that Glossier is for those girls and boys that have like perfect skin. I don't have like perfect skin. I don't think I have terrible skin. You know, if like I ran a marathon or whatever, you could see like my face will be totally red and stuff. I mean, it is giving me a tint. Like I feel like my skin after like two layers of this, I feel like my face is a little more even. I also can see it being like the future do stuff. Like I feel like this is also giving me a little shine. This one, not so much. I'm gonna do like an Instagram drippity drop. Let's Let's see, like that. I don't hate it. I don't love it either because it did give me a tint. If I were to wear like a no makeup, makeup type of deal, then yes, maybe, like definitely, because it gives you a tint. It makes your skin a little bit even, but like still your skin, which I've been coming to liking recently, especially with like the Candid Glow Foundation. I love that stuff because it just makes you look natural. And a lot of times I don't even go in with sponge. I just go bloop, blah. So I'm a little more open-minded as far as like coverage and things goes. This this really doesn't give you a whole lot though. But at the same time, like I could always follow up with concealer. So let's do concealer next. I got this guy here, the stretch concealer, class packaging. Thank you so much, Glossy A. Let me see the box real quick. Using your fingertips. This is more emollient than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little dry, but it's real wet. <laughs> so I got this, hopefully this isn't gonna match me. Oh yeah, yeah, this is fine. I got the same shade as the foundation, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, this concealer, it looks bright off the bat, but then you just start blaying it out and then it's gone. First impression on this concealer. I like this concealer. This side with concealer, this side without concealer. What do you think? Let's try with a brush. I know it says fingertips, but I'm a brush girl. <laughs> For like a non-extra girl, fingertips I think is very like optimizable, efficient and things. But for an extra gal like myself, brushes is the way to go because like, you see this poor little tissue right here? I've been wiping my hands because my hands are covered in dewy, future dew, priming cream and tint. <laughs> okay, that's too much like oiliness on my fingers right now. That's the only thing about these like products that you apply with your fingers, it gets a little messy, like mm. Okay, with the brush, it's excellent. I have no complaints about this. Definitely use like a densely packed brush like this and I think you'll be golden. This looks nice. All right, so let's go in with some more products. I'm so excited for these. These are the cloud paints, the seamless cheek color. I have two shades. I have Beam and I have Dawn. They both look peachy. We're gonna swatch them real quick. Again, it says definitely use a little bit and use it with your hands. It's got a little picture of a face with a hand on it. Let me show y'all. There. Little face with a hand. This is Dawn. She looks a little more vibrant. Let's see how she is. Oh my, that's orange. Peachy, you know, kind of like rosy, just a little bit. This jaw orange. It's staining my finger. <laughs> Let's try Beam. Maybe Beam will work for me. I'm gonna try both to be honest. I'm on the wild side tonight. These are both like kind of stunning. Beam. I think will work well for me, but I also want to try Dawn because, you know, I picked both. Might as well, right? Let's start off with Beam first. I want to put it on the back of my hand first before I apply it to the skin, you know, just to be certain. This reminds me of like watercolors or like, you know, if you're doing like acrylic painting or whatever, like your hand is your canvas. So you have your colors here and then you could take your paintbrush or in this case will be my hands and apply them. So let me start off with Beam right here. It's this nice peachy pink subtleness let's do it on the cheek right here so that's a lot let's blend her i think with this because they're so pigmented off the bat like you could just go in with your sponge and you'd be okay look how subtle like hello like am i even wearing blush but like in a nice way you know like if you went like real close to my face it'd just be like ooh. <sighs> let's try it oh i messed up what have i done let me finesse this take the sponge it's still a little too orange. I wanna mix them. I mix the colors together. Let's apply this to the face. Let's do it like here. Oh, you know what? This is beautiful, but I'm looking like a clown. 
So I did that cute girl thing where I put blush all over my face. What I can confirm with these blushes is that they stain. Dawn definitely stains, I should say. Let's not talk about Beam. Beam was doing a great job. Dawn stains. It makes me look like I got like jaundice or something because it's turning my hand yellow. Let me tone this down. Can you tell I'm having like slight meltdown because I put way too much blush on my face? <laughs> All right, we're gonna deal with it. We're a blushy, beautiful goddess. Let's get on to highlighter. I love highlighter. We got the Glossier Play Night Shine Highlighter Concentrate. So this looks like a nail polish bottle and that's what I thought. Let's open, hello? Will it be a brush? Oh, no. It's a little, okay, hang on. We gonna swatch her real quick. I need to know the intensity. I just don't wanna go in and, ooh, hello? All right, we're putting this on the face ASAP. We need some dimension up in here. Let's do like, this might be a lot. Here I was thinking this brand was subtle. It was like, ooh, your skin, but better. But do you see this? This is the content I asked for. Look at this shine. If I'm shining, everybody getting demonetized. <laughs> With a sponge, it's not helpful. I'm just use my fingers. All right, Glossier, you win. I'll use my fingers. Look at my face. Not the eyebrows, but look. Let me finish the rest of my eyes real quick. And um, according to my good old friend, I hope we're friends. Tell me we're friends because if we're not friends, I'm gonna cry. Tara. Hi, how are you, girl? She recommended this mascara for me because they were good for bottom lashes. At least I think that's what she said. Oh my God, I'm sorry if it wasn't you, Tara. I'm gonna put eyeshadow on real quick and then I'll try this mascara on the lower lashes. You know what else Tara also taught me too? Don't set your under eye concealer with powder because number one, it looks cakey. And number two, if it creases, all you gotta do is pat it out. When in doubt, pat it out. And that's what I live by now, so thank you, girl. All right, let's get on with this mascara. This is the Lash Lick Film Form Mascara. What does that mean? Is this like a tubing mascara? Because if it is, I'm living for it. I just recently got into the Thrive Cosmetics. Yeah, all right, I'm here. Sorry, 2015 or whenever the heck that came out. Okay, I'm here now. <laughs> Wand looks very similar to the Thrive one. Um, I'm kind of a snob. It just smells like chemicals. I'm kind of snob when it comes to mascara because I want something that's waterproof. I want something that's not gonna budge or smudge because my eyes get watery very quickly, very fastly. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. So let's just apply it. All right, I see you. Like it's giving me length, definitely not like definition. I can build some definition, let's see. Wait, can I build definition? Yeah. Get a little wiggle and pull. You know what I hate when people put on their mascara and they like blink into their mascara, they go like, which, I mean, no, you're doing it wrong. I know that, you know, makeup is a one size fits all and makeup is what you make it and no rules to makeup. Don't, no, don't blink into your mascara. Move your hand, start moving your body, get your guns out, stop being lazy. I'm all good. Am I getting mad about it? No. First impressions of this mascara. It gave me some length. It gave me a little bit of volume. I had to work for it, but I'm not gonna lie. It's a meh mascara for me, sorry. Really quick, let me fill in this bottom portion here with a little bit of concealer. All right, this is the one thing I cheated on and I'm so sorry, but I just had to. We gonna start out with the boy brow. <laughs> I know I was gonna say it like that because I love saying it like that. This is the grooming pomade. This is very similar to the brow boss gel from ColourPop, which I'm pretty sure boy brow came out first. First of all, packaging wise, like, hello? Which one is Glossier and which one's ColourPop? Like very similar in like color and texture. Let's put some on. So what I have per perfected as far as like my brow routine with the Glossier stuff is first I'll go in with the brow gel and I'll perfect it because this does like the majority of the work, okay? So you brush it into your brows, especially on like this end part right here. You see how sad looking that is? How much definition is not there? Give it a little love and also brush it up. Boy brow is checked too and I, I see why kids. The definition is there now. You see her, you know, if I want a natural brow, like I can just stick with this and I'd be okay. I'd be fine. I'm gonna do the other brow real quick. 
Now we're gonna go in with the brow flick, microfine detail and pen. You know I've been loving them brow pens, okay? You know, Orphan Decay's got one, my favorite of all time before. <laughs> was from MAC, the shade and sculpt. This one is the bee's knees. <laughs> this color is perfect. This is the color brown. I know they only have three shades. Glossier, come on. It's such a small tip. But the color is what I'm looking for. It's neutral. It's not too brown. It's not gray. It's my hair color, like my natural hair color, okay? Not this bun. So what I do is I'll flick some hairs up in here, make them full, and then I'll do a little bit in the front. Oh my gosh, it's, ugh, it's so good, all right? It's already chapstick, but let's go. Look at that ever so slight definition. I'm ordering five of these. I don't care how much they cost. How much do they cost? Let me check. It doesn't have the price on it. Where's the price? All the other ones have it. Oh, it's $18. That's not bad. If your eyebrows don't like like this, I don't want you saying nothing to me. <laughs> Last but not least is another lip product, but this is the final product that I purchased, which is the lip gloss. I didn't want to get anything color because I already have a lot of color products. So I got the clear gloss. This is so aesthetically pleasing like this. Ooh. Wow, beautiful. ASMR, no smell. Ooh, this is the most glossiest gloss, glossy A. You know, if I throw on some lip liner with this, it feels like I have a layer over my lips. All right, I think the face is done. This is the Glossier face. Take a look, let's look. This is the Glossier face. Oh man, let's do a rundown. Let's just see which products here are a yay or nay. Let's see which one's giving the Chad approval stamp or they're getting a pass. Uh, for the most part, I overall actually, I do like the products. I don't think that a lot of them are worth the hype per se, because again, a lot of the stuff you can get from the drugstore and kind of make them work. So first product that I put on is the bomb.com. It is a glorified Vaseline thing, honestly. I do like it only, only because it's birthday cake flavored, okay? It doesn't taste like birthday cake, but it does smell like it and it does last a really long time. I like to put this on before I go to bed and it's like this much product left now because I've been using it every single day actually, like when I got this package and stuff. And if you already know when I got the package, Follow me on my social media. You already know when I got the package. But anyway, love. I actually love this stuff. So this is chapter fruit. Next, we did the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Now, I don't believe in priming moisturizers per se because I feel like just have good skincare. <laughs> Sorry, I started cut, cutting out. This is kind of not approved to me. Not kind of, it is not approved because, definitely because I've been watching more skincare videos and stuff. I'll link some channels down below that I really like. I think that every good makeup day starts off with a good skincare routine. And then you go from there. So if you have acne prone skin, if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, make sure that you're taking the steps prior to your makeup application and that way it'll look good. I mean, you could have all the technique in the world, but if you're applying, your foundation on a rock, it's not gonna look good because you need to prep it. You need to make it not a rock. You need to make it like something else, okay? And yeah, I guess primers, that's what it's used for. But like, I guess for me and my skin, and maybe I'm just speaking for myself because a lot of people believe in primers and a lot of people do not. For me, I feel like I don't have really problematic skin for the most part. I get breakouts every now and then, but I don't mind them kind of showing because I'm a human and that's what happens. So next, the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid, okay? I like the bottle. I like how it looks. I like the aesthetic. I'm gonna give it a try to prove on this. And reason why is because this is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flaws Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. It doesn't give you like that same texture and the same luminosity that it gives, but like it feels good, especially on my dry skin and stuff. Let's get on to the next product. So the Perfecting Skin Tint. I do not approve this because I think this is really expensive. I look back at my email. It's $26. That's really expensive for something that doesn't give you a whole lot of coverage. With that being said, I don't hate it. I don't love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, no thanks. Next, the stretch concealer, tab approved, love it. I think that it feels nice. For people who have dry skin, you're gonna like it. I think it stays put for the most part. It's not creasing under my eyes and stuff. It's covering things that I wanna cover. So I think with these two paired together, they work really well. Um, as far as shades, I don't know how many colors they have because again, I didn't look on the website, but this matches my skin really well. I really like this. Awesome, A plus. Cloud paints, I like them. I think they are worth every penny because they're so pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. I mean, yeah, all right, Dawn, she, she stained my skin. I wanna get more shades because I love cream 
blushes and they're so cute or whatever. I really like this stuff. Maybe I'm wearing too much blush. I don't know, comment down below. Next, wow, I'm such a freaking superstar. This night shine here, I'm pleasantly surprised with it. However, this is $20. And I don't use cream products all that often, but I am pleasantly surprised by it. So it is challenging. <laughs> Right. Gotcha. <laughs> now let's get on to lash lick. I'm sorry, Tara. <laughs> this is not shadow proof. Uh, it's kind of whatever to me. Like, I mean, it's just whatever. I feel like I gotta play with it a little bit more, to be honest. Off the bat, I feel like the formula is a little too wet for my liking. And I like something that's a little more waxy and something that'll last long and it won't smudge. And I mean, right now I'm already getting a little smudging. Yeah, I was a little messy and stuff with my application, but you know, I'm perfect. So. I'm a drugstore mascara type of gal. It's just like, yeah. Next. You already know this is child proof already. Boy brow and the freaking um, brow flick. They are child proof. I love these. Can't say enough about them. Like, I think they match my eyebrows perfectly like this one gives me like a little more fluff and then this one you know fills in the definition makes them hair strokes and stuff like this is what i've been looking for my whole life and i didn't know that glossy had it until now and this has already become holy grail i've actually been using this like every single day like every time i want to put on brows this is my jam right here okay last but not least the glossy gloss i feel like i don't have enough time to play with this to really see how i feel about it as far as the gloss goes i feel like it's a different experience however the gloss is 14 dollars. i don't approve just because i feel like it's an overhyped gloss like they're like oh my god but glossy and gloss and it's just it's overhyped to me personally sorry how do i feel up overall about glossier i feel like it's kind of overhyped you know i get it the packaging is pretty they have the white with the pink and stuff and it's like ooh, like very minimalistic very like clean looking it's for like literally it's for the cool girls that don't really have a lot to put on but they just have their stuff okay i think that it's overpriced i think that you can get a lot of these at the drugstore for a good price but i did find some good finds as well so i'm kind of on the fence with it i don't hate glossier i'm just letting you know right now i actually like their products however i think that it is just a little overhyped it's for the <laughs> visco girls or whatever like, but i'm glad i tried it and i'm glad that you guys recommended me all these products because i do like a lot of them and i do appreciate them and i will incorporate a lot of them into my routine especially the brow products ah blah brow <laughs> highly highly recommend some of them flop but you know everyone is different and that's the beauty of makeup is you know one size can fit all and some of them you know they just don't vibe with it and that's fine because if i liked every single product in the whole entire world then you know it wouldn't be an honest youtube channel for beauty so thank you so much for being so patient and give me a thumbs up because uh i spent a lot of money um so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all these social medias down below right here and ding ding hit the notification bell because your girl made new videos every friday leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what you would like to see next as always, thank you for watching. Bye. That has been quite because I've never tried any glossy. Where are my for? But let me put uh, the makeup on on my eyes. Why did I say it like that? I mean, I, these two. The scare type of girl, gal. What am I saying? I look like I'm going to Coachella. You see this? Prove this 100%. 110%. That's a lot. <laughs>